Okay, doing a how to thread a Recar 500 FA super stretch. Pop the thread on the back spool pin. Go through the first guide here, right there. And it just pushes right through. It's got a little clip that keeps it right in place. Go down. Go right around the bot the thread tensioner. You pull it tight. You hear it click. And then if you come over on this side, you should see that the thread, let me get you in a little closer, see how the thread goes over the chrome piece? I don't know why, let's see if this focuses a little bit better. There you go, see that? And you see the spring comes up and down with it. Whoops. Okay, and you come right across here in the take-up lever. So I came up right there in the take-up leather, and then down. Here, can you take that one? Thanks. Then you come down. Oh, the thread tension seems to be at way too high. Four is usually normal. Um, then you come down in here, and you go right around there. You see that little clip I went through? And then you go right through the front eye hole or eye of the needle to the back. Just like that. I'm trying to do it with my finger should grab a little tweezers. But either way, it goes through the front of the needle of that and then underneath the foot of the machine. Then you hand crank it, always just twist in the hand wheel towards you, one time down and up, and then it'll bring up your bobbin thread with it, and then you just pull those through the back. Here's your bobbin. This has got really heavy thread. Whoever's using this machine must have been doing some heavy sewing, but anyway, it always spins with the, so it's clockwise on this one from the back. It clips right underneath there, and then that's exactly right. So it should, when you pull the thread, it should go the other way. Put it right in here, straight in, like that. And I'll try one more time to get it in this needle. And crank the handle towards you. I'll go down once. Come up. And there's your bobbin thread. See how it pulled it right up in there? Can you see that all the way? Mm-hmm. And then straight back, and then you can start sewing. To wind a bobbin, you just go through the first guide if you want, and then it goes underneath this button right here, and back to your bobbin. Your bobbin looks like this. You put the thread up through that hole, it clips in like this. This bobbin's already wound, so we're not going to wind one. Plus, I don't know where the foot control is for this machine. And there it locks in. Click it. And when it's done, it should automatically pop loose, and then you can take this off. And we already discussed it earlier in the video how to load this in. Thank you.